All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 family comedy film called If, a.k.a. Imaginary Friends, starring Ryan Reynolds and directed and starring John Karaski. Uh, here's a plot. After discovering she can see everyone's imaginary friends, a girl embarks on a magical adventure to reconnect forgotten imaginary friends with their kids. Now, here's some of the cast. Well, first off, I couldn't get into the story, unfortunately. Honestly, story writing-wise was kind of dull and boring after the first 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I will say the comedy had a couple of funny spots, but most of it was just awkward comedy, which can go either way. And in my opinion, Ryan Reynolds was uh, dialed back with his comedy, which I get as it clearly leans more towards kids. But he completely didn't fit as a character to me personally either way. This felt like uh, he was solely there because his star power name at the moment, thanks to the first Deadpool film. So he's like a it person that it's kind of like uh, Scarlett Johansson is when they just shove her in movies. Don't get me wrong, I like her. I like Ryan Reynolds as well. Um, but uh, they're not that well, let's just be honest what this is he's just there to to uh, bring traffic which unfortunately it, it didn't really do good in theaters and I can see why however the CGI and uh, imaginary characters designs was super good looking but really only thing I liked about it to be honest now here's my right now come on come on thoughts Uh, honestly, what bothered me by the whole time, she's just 12, walking around from the hospital, through the hospital, through New York, all the way to her house, apartment buildings, you know, all that stuff, you know, to the convenience store. It, it Just from a huge logic standpoint, it makes no sense. Now, I get it. It is a kid's movie, family movie. But I have, doing this for about four years, four or five years, I don't remember how many, I have seen plenty of films that are family friend, uh, family slash lean towards children somewhat to a certain degree, uh, like this film, and I have seen way more better logic in there. Um, if they just had like a scene or a couple scenes in there that were like that were her just wandering around, okay, you can you can get away with that. But the whole film was her doing that, and it just felt like it was just so big and it this uh, of, of a problem logically with that that it kind of affected part of the film obviously again the biggest part in general was writing i don't know uh, this this movie kind of felt like a mess to me like it was a very very uh good crash cash grab for, you know for 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 kiss logic is off the writing is bad uh, the comedy was stale. It, it is what it is. But always leave your comments down below. I'm always curious to know what they are. Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you even see it? Would you want to see it now or even in general? Um, but uh, yeah. So remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.